Hmm. Still having trouble troubleshooting the uh Facebook. Hang on one second. Understand why it's not working for Facebook. not working for Facebook. This is so frustrating. I got that ticket submitted, so I'm going to just jump onto the chat. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm already so way behind. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Sandwiches. Sandwiches indeed. But welcome back, everybody. Oh, I think I just scrolled up into the last. Yeah, second in a week. Wow. So welcome, Ice Cream Hero, Golden Girl. And I'll just turn the scene on, by the way. Hello. And Mexican Gamer, and Weird Cartoon Kid, and Donnie, and Cliff, and Mr. Gray, and Katharney, and Deirdre, and Firebird. Oh, hello, Firebird. And uh, Anon Mouse, and Bronx Den. Welcome, welcome. Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to get right down to it. I have a lot of pages left to go in the book. And I have this page which is basically just a glorified thumbnail. And I need to tie this down. So, I could use a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of back and forth, so 
I'm gonna ask you guys' opinion every so often. And I'm going to start with the stuff that uh, I'm comfortable with. And that is this line right here. I'm gonna get one nice line. Maybe I'll even go ahead and ink that line with my ballpoint pen brush, which I regretfully decided to use as my ink tool. But better for worse, probably worse, and that's what I'm sticking with. Not a good curve. There we go. Oop, I got a bloop bloop. Restream typically replies in a few hours. Well, thank you for that. Whoop. Hmm. Okay, let's get back to it. So how is everyone today? Or maybe that's Facebook mess. Did Facebook finally work? Nope. Is anybody seeing this on Facebook? No. Not even a little bit. Well. They're lost. Okay. I've got... My ocean line. There we go. I'll label it so I don't go absolutely mad. And I think the next thing I'll do... I'll figure out the little red door here. But I need to go back and get my drawing implement. Animator pencil is my favorite sketcher thing. So if I get in a pretty good place with this, I think I'm going to try and do a total request se session this week. Because there's a fan art challenge that's been going around, and I figure I can... You know, my favorite thing is to kill two birds with one stone, and I think I can combine that into a... Uh, the fan art challenge, too. Oh, some more people joined in. Awesome, awesome. You know, I wonder, am I supposed to press the go live button even if it's not Oh, what the heck? I'll just go live. Uh is this attached to restream? We'll see. We'll see if this works out. Where's the chat? Where did that go? And we got people saying, doing mighty fine. We got some more people jumping in. Hello, non-toxic. And hi, punky. And, or pink. Pinky. And Jim McFeely's doing okay. Well, okay is better than bad. Non-toxic. Non-toxic says, I'm swell, which is an excellent word. And Fenrir says, watch some of the Final Fantasy VII remake. Final, F to me, I don't, I'm not a gamer, so to me, Final Fantasy just means the really boring movie they made many years ago. And so, like Final Fantasy VII, did they make? Did they make six more of those movies? 
And they're already starting to do the remakes? Wow, I have been under a rock. And Fenrir has a request, and Donnie says, is it, I, is it okay if I request ahead of time? Uh, unfortunately, no, because the, the fun is like shouting things out, and if people could request things ahead of time, that list would get really long. Um, but, again, like people who do Tip Jar and Tee Public and Super Chat always get um, preference. So if that's something you want to consider doing, I wouldn't say no. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay, so we have people on Facebook joining. Uh, but here's the thing. It's not connecting with my restream. So I am not going to be able to see all of the Facebook chattery just by looking at the restream chat. which is going to be interesting. So, hey Anna, and welcome Daniela, and Richard, and hey Lee, I still remember I have to do that painting of Red Hot Riding Hood for you. I haven't forgotten. It's just a matter of time. And Terrence says, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? And we got... Ah, uh, and Jennifer Adkins says, hey, taking a work break and popping in. Hello. So, Facebook people, uh, I've been trying to, every time I've been streaming, I've had errors with Facebook and I'm still trying to figure out why I'm not able to multi-stream to Facebook. And I thought maybe I had to press the go live button, but it just seems like that's uh, just going live just on Facebook. So yet again, I am flummoxed. So I'll be checking in with the Facebook chat as often as I can. But if you're on Facebook, and you want to be sure that I see your comments, uh, a better chance that I'll see your comments. Uh, you can hop on over to any of the other platforms that I multi-stream to, like YouTube and Twitch, uh, even LinkedIn I got approved to, to stream to LinkedIn, which apparently is working, should be working. Yeah, LinkedIn is online. Twitch is online, Periscope, Picarto, and YouTube are online. Facebook, what's the trouble, buddy? Oh. So I got somebody who is going to be helping me, thank goodness. We'll see if a professional can help me figure this out. But in the meantime... I'm going to be taking this thumbnail and hacking away at it to make something a bit more presentable. So I just realized I don't know what goggles look like. So I'm gonna have to do a quick search. I know, action Google search. Snorkel mask, go. Wow, some of these do not look like the snorkeling masks that I am familiar with. Is it bad that it's been so long since I've done anything fun that I don't recognize the equipment for it anymore? Check this out. This is what Google says a snorkeling mask is. Am I crazy? Wait, it's upside down. Is that any better? That's a snorkeling mask. That does not look like a snorkeling mask to me. Okay. Well, I see a cartoon version that's more in line with what I was talking about. Seriously, since when does it cover your whole flippin' face? Have I been indoors that long? What has happened to the world? This is more in line with what I think of as a snorkeling mask, but yikes! It's 
been so long. Fun. We meet again. And here we go. We got some more people. Oh, Lexi has to go. I always never say goodbye right when Lexi's leaving. Bye bye bye, Lexi. And we got a new friend here, Funtime Foxy. Welcome, welcome. And Fenrir talking about Final Fantasy, the game only. And I know no, I don't know who Zephyrith is. And as a villain, I don't know anything about Final Fantasy. It's it just I never got the concept of a franchise that had different characters and different stories in different worlds every time. I I just. I can't wrap my brain around that to this day. Okay, I gotta focus. You know, the things that I hate drawing the most are things, objects, props. Which I did. I actually did design props on one of my jobs. I did prop design for Tom and Jerry a while ago. Hey! I got pinged. I got a Facebook message. And check in Facebook again. And we had, oh! oh more people joining in. Bahadir, Antonio, and Andy. Uh, do -do 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 -do, and Svetlana and Richard Pickens and Michael yeah and again for those who have uh, just joined um, oh and Noel hey Noel how's it going Noel's another Atlanta Atlanta buddy uh, but yeah, what I'm trying to say is my Facebook friends here, to my Facebook friends here, is that I've been trying to live stream to Facebook uh, for the past several streams that I've done, and it just isn't cooperating with my restream. And today I've, I've been reading about uh, the articles on how to do it, and multi-streaming, and how to add it, and it's like, oh, maybe I just need to click the go live button once I'm live. And that'll magically connect. It, it didn't. It was a shot in the dark. So I am separately streaming to Facebook Live at the same time as I am multi-streaming. And this is kind of difficult. As difficult as figuring out how a door could snorkel. Gotta move his mouth up a little bit, otherwise this isn't gonna read as a snorkel. Do I have to add the snorkel? Let's just... I In the crappier, if you can imagine, thumbnail sketch that preceded this crappy thumbnail sketch, I had uh, a snorkel. The door was snorkeling with a snorkel. This door, this character is a challenge to get him to do anything besides be a door. Oh, I hear Diana crying. Darn it. She was playing so nicely with Daddy. I hope everything's okay. Is 
that help? Okay. Well, what I need to do is fix this prop. Because his eyes go all the way to the top. So the mask needs to go all the way to the top. That's why I don't like props. Props always just raise a flag to the difficult. It's just like. You know you have a bad character design when you can't make the character do the things that you want, like wear a mask. Or if you ever had a character with really big eyes and you try to put glasses on them and you're like, ah, oh, well, these glasses have to be the size of their head in order to read his glasses. But sometimes you can make it work, like um, the, the girl from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs had gigantic eyes and wore glasses. She made it work. I'm tired of farm music. Let's keep moving along. Thank you. All right, and let's check the chat. Again, uh, Raymond Tucker asks, what is this music? It is just epidemic sound. It is free, free royalty, free music um, that I can play during my streams without getting flagged on YouTube and Facebook and such such places. Because I was playing stuff from archive.org for the longest time, thinking that <laughs> public domain means you can use it. Nope, nope. Facebook people, I'm shaking my head right now. Nope, you can't. Public domain is a fantasy. Nothing, nothing is free anymore. If I had a, a little bit of time, I would start to, to research who actually owns the rights to all the music that I really like, and I see if I can cut some sort of a deal with them to say, can I have access to your catalog for like $100 a year pub with some publishing rights? Because listen, nobody nobody cares about Yan Savit, a third-rate big band player from the 1940s. Only I care about Yan Savit. Let me play Yan Savit. Snorkel. I swear he needs a snorkel. But I can't get it around the side of his face without like a million broken rules. Well, maybe. Maybe that works. Add some bubbles. Bubble, 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 bubble. Sound effects, again, always make the drawing better. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how this is looking. Ocean line. I'm gonna knock back this ocean line. Just so I can see, red door. go. I think that's pretty okay. I can move on now. And here's this cute little kid here. His name's Pico. And he's just enjoying. Yeah, I don't think he needs a snorkel. I need to check the regular chat. Um, let's see. Uh, Fun Time Foxy has a question. Why did I start YouTube and what made me start YouTube? Um, I'm assuming, you know, my channel, not that I invented YouTube. Although that'd be a fun rumor. Uh, it, it is kind of a boring story. I just originally used YouTube as a place to store, um, to showcase all of my commercial work and my demo reels, because that was back in the old days of the internet.
my god, this music, I can't even think. I can't even think. I need... Let's see. Nope, I can't do this music anymore. It's just too, too much in my brain. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep going forward. Nope. Funnily enough, I can take accordion over banjo. So let's get back to the question at hand. Uh, I used YouTube to store my commercial work and my demo reels, uh, because back at that time, YouTube was, nobody made money on YouTube, it was just sort of a repository for family videos. And his nose is too big, he has a much smaller little buttony nose. A smaller nose has he. And let's draw through here to make sure that his head doesn't have such a wonky shape. Uh, yeah, and then, then I guess the first, I, I started doing little original things, and then Monkey Rag was something I started working on and I started posting my progress and then monetization was a thing and I was sort of late to the game on that but I turned on monetization at some point and started dreaming about you know becoming a channel that produced an income so that I could afford to do original content as a as a job instead of doing my jobs as jobs, and um, only squeezing in original stuff when I could still bear to be awake. And the children did complicate things. I am very tired. I've been very tired for, for two years. Uh, no, actually, let's say I've been very, very tired for over ten years, uh, but I've had legit sleep deprivation for going on two years now. And so, there's some nights I just can't stay up. So the original stuff had to take a back seat. And I didn't want my channel to start growing mold, so I said, well, I can at least try out this live stream stuff, because I actually did have somebody at Twitch contact me to say, hey, we're trying to get more um, artists and people on Twitch, so why don't you consider live streaming? And so I gave it a shot. Turned out, it's lots of fun. Who knew? I just like to talk. Normally, I'll just, um, if I'm not live streaming, I'm just listening to music that I actually like. Or just singing. So, I always have some sort of noise going. Do floaties have these little pillow corners? I don't know. Now I have to look up floaties. Oh, please, please, Google, be kind to me. Thank you. Oh. All right. Well, yeah, they have more of a triangular shape than a square shape like I had thought. So, I'm going to fix that. And I'm behind in the chat. And did 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 Ba 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 do 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 do. Mr. Gray says, I can't with your pronunciation of Sephiroth. It's Pokemon level stuff. Look, it's S E P H I R O T H. How, how else is it supposed to say Sephiroth? 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 Ugh. Don't make fun of me, I'm old. It's not nice. Be, be kind to your elders. And... Oh, Ducky Booze is here. Welcome, Ducky Booze. 
Ice Cream Hero says you can remove the snorkel, you get the point so you don't need it. We'll see. We'll see how I feel once I get to the inking stage. And, oh, Funtime Foxy posted a question to the whole chat, so Facebook, feel free to join in. What is the biggest problem that artists have? And Ice Cream Hero says, sometimes I get real obsessed with what I'm working on and neglect other things. Relatable. And there's a lot of great, um, a lot of great things here. Oh, Lee, Lee Diggins hopped on to YouTube. Awesome. Thank you. And Donnie says, I can take a bagpipe over an accordion or a banjo. Yeah, I'm not, I don't hate bagpipes. And welcome, Polymorphic Black Steve. Glad to see you back. And Funtime Foxy says, bye. And no parking berry joined in. Hello. And I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name. Panky? Panke? Uh, and Vado Elements has some good royalty free songs. You can't use all the songs to do live streams, but you can download a bunch and make a playlist. Yeah, I just want something I don't have to keep managing. And let's check the Facebook. I'm behind on that too. <laughs> And Raymond Tucker asked, with regards to the music, is that Mars Muzzy Marcelino? Probably not. And Greg Kinsey joined. Hey, Greg. And Jonathan Edwards, good to see you. And Joey Litson, hey. And Joey says, I'm a great talker. By which he definitely means I talk quite a bit. I do, I do talk. And Rich Aaron's joined. Wow, hey. This is quite an honor. If you're listening, Rich Aaron's, thank you for all you've done for animation in general and Animaniacs specifically. And Tony Groves joined and Marjan and, and Carlos. So welcome all my Facebook friends. For those of you who have just joined, pardon me, I have to repeat myself, um, that I am multi-streaming right now and trying to troubleshoot why Facebook is being so persnickety, and I made the very, very stupid decision of saying, maybe I just need to click the live button and it'll just automatically work. No, it didn't work. So I'm juggling two separate chats now, and um, I'm going to do my best to stay on top of the chats. But if you're getting annoyed with me neglecting the Facebook chat, because let's just be honest, I am not the most skilled streamer, uh, you can just hop on over to YouTube uh, or Twitch or Picarto or whatever your favored streaming platform is, because I'm probably uh, probably on it. And restreaming, multi-streaming. Multi stream. Fifth element. Okay. Am I fixing this at all? Yeah, I'm fixing it a bit. Splish splash. And Tony Ross joined. Hey, Tony. And Jennifer responding to the question says, I hate it when I make an awesome sketch and then kill it by. <laughs> Painting it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, I love that one, cause yeah, I I ruin all of my art by continuing to work on it. My best work is just the sketch that took two seconds, which is why I like doing the Total Request live sketch sessions because um, the expectations are low, and I get to just enjoy the potential of the drawings without having to spend the time on working on drawings that. Um, I know will ultimately disappoint me and the person who requested them. What a grim outlook on life I have. My goodness. Sketches are superior. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, you doing okay, Pico? Let's add this mask to you.
Why can't I not get away from Banjo? And I, I, I don't dislike Banjo. I just don't want it right now. Well, this song is called Making a Haystack, so I'm just gonna keep going. Tractor pulling. Tiny temptations, well, this has potential. Yes, let's luxuriate in the sounds of a piano right now. This reminds me of ballet class. Plie, plie, so second position, plie, plie. There we go. that I just looked at a picture of a snorkeling mask five minutes ago and I've already forgotten everything. Everything about it. I'm supposed to be refining the sketches, not making them even messier. Come on. Get your head in the game, Joe. Come on. Okay. That somewhat resembles a mask, I suppose. Give him There we go. Yeah, that's definitely a more on model Pico than before. I hear Talia. She finally woke up from her nap. Okay. So those are the main characters. Let's figure out the background now. This was looking. Now, should that be showing through as like a cliff or something, or should it just be in the background? Yeah, this stuff. This landmass is way in the background. So you're not going to see... I'm going to make that a lot simpler and a lot lower. And have it just be a little bit of a more subtle curve. This one is one that is going to be seen. And I just want to make that a more interesting little curve. And here I am going to definitely be employing a great many concept texture brushes. Actually, I wouldn't have pussy willows at the beach. I'm going to have to look up coastal Georgia beach flora. 
dune grass, what dune grass looks like. And I'm going to move a little shell up here. I'm going to move this starfish over here. Boop, 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 dimples. Okay, and this is just going to recede into nothingness. It's just going to fade out into the abyss. Yeah, that is exactly what is going to happen. And this is going to be a kelp forest of some kind, so... There's no straight lines. But just to help me out a little bit, I'm going to do a couple wavy lines to help guide me. If I can catch up on the chat. Andrew's back. Hey, Andrew. How you doing? Probably joined in like 10 minutes ago, but I notice everything eventually. <laughs> and Mr. Gray is talking about Ollie and Scoops. No, I, I haven't seen it yet, but I really love Nico's artwork, and I, I haven't looked it up. But you said it's on YouTube, so I'm definitely going to check it out. I like Adorable and Zany. That's my jam. And Alex Tucker says, finally I can post my 60s beat poetry. Oh, do tell. And Fenrir left. Thanks for joining, if you're still so listening. Th thanks for joining. And Lexi's back. And you're watching the old DuckTales. Awesome. And No Parking Barry says, Joanna, what is your stance on including fan art in a professional portfolio, and what tips can you offer on balancing the display of both original characters and fan art? Um, well, part of your job will be drawing characters um, I would say don't think of it as fan art think of it as uh, think of it as displaying your skill in drawing on model or your skill in redesigning characters so, uh, so I think it's I think it's okay especially if you uh, are applying to a specific studio. I think it it looks good to show like, hey, I draw all of your characters and I draw them on model. Um, and here's even my zany take on some of them. But don't present it as fan art, as just like, OMG, I love this character. And this is me kissing your character, my avatar kissing your character. Like, none of that stuff. Um, just try to you it should be something that's displaying skills that you want to show off and katharney asks very astutely is this page going to be based on the blue color yes it is and ice cream hero said not too keen on the new ducktales used to like like it oh julio draws is now following i always am happy to be notified of things of that nature And Lee Dickens says, you remind me of those wonderfully perky kid show hostesses in the 60s. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny. I just was showing my daughter a Sherry Lewis video, the, her one minute fairy tales. And I'm just, I mean, I've always known Sherry Lewis, uh, but I've never actually sat down and watched an entire video of hers. And oh my, 
stars, I have a new hero, a spirit animal. I wish I was Sherry Lewis with these adorable puppets and these hilarious stories and, and personalities and characters. It's just... I don't know why I thought she was all cutesy wootsy, but she's she's a firecracker and she's got an amazing fashion sense as well. So I would I would love to be a perky 1960s kid show host. Is anybody hiring? As long as I don't have to wear clown makeup. I don't want to be a clown. But that was just Bozo, right? I mean, that wasn't a thing. It was only it was only one kid show host that did that, right? I never watched Bozo the Clown. Actually, I'm not sure if Bozo was still around when I was watching television. I was still aware of him. He must have still been around. Like when, you know, uh, Simpsons had Crossy the Clown, I knew exactly what they were referencing, so I, I must know. I must have watched Bozo at some point. Was he ever on Nickelodeon? I gotta know. Okay. I think I'm just gonna indicate some... Ugh, I'm getting way too messy. This is supposed to be my cleaned up sketch. Look at all this mess I have everywhere. Mess, mess, mess. fins of a turtle look like or tortoise sea turtle yes it's a sea turtle I'll feel better if I take this down. Yeah, that definitely looks... That's definitely an improvement. What are those... Are they called sea fans? Is that a thing that it... Yes! I was right! Why does that take me to Wayfair? I do not wish to purchase a sea fan. Okay, now how do I turn this into something that I can put in a children's book? This will be fun.
Yeah, I might have to revisit how that kelp is working. Hmm. Let me also look up sea kelp. It's very complex. Here's this seems to be a good image to try and base this on. So, yeah, part of the struggle is figuring out how to simplify things, how to make it recognizable as what it's supposed to be without being, you know, as complex as all of this. So, let me. Allow me to ruminate while I take a sip of water and check the chat. Because you're gonna Ah! Welcome, Darren, who says salutations. Sal, you what? Salutations. I do that back and forth with my daughter because she really likes Charlotte's Web. And Donnie asks Sherry Lewis, what about Jim Henson? Well, Jim Henson wasn't a little little kid host. <laughs> I mean, he was a puppeteer like Sherry Lewis, but you know, Sherry was you know, she was technically a puppeteer because she used puppets, but she's she's not a puppeteer the way Jim Henson is a puppeteer, and he's not a kids show host the way Sherry Lewis is a kids show host. And Antler Dart, welcome. I hope you're feeling better. Let me know how you're doing. And Darren said, back in the day, we had a local clown show called Wizzo. Ooh. <laughs> it's something you can't say these days. <laughs> like, my local clown show. <laughs> it's not it's a band name. And Polymorphic Black Steve says, I'm curious for what you look for and do when simplifying an art, um, an object for your style. And Antler Dart says, I do feel better. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Boy, are you still on oxygen? The Antler Dart actually has the unspeakable virus. Or at least had it. I don't know. Are you completely in the clear now? And Alex Tucker says, here in Chattanooga, we had Rocho the Clown? You did not. You absolutely, that is a lie. I'm gonna, I call shenanigans. No, they could never have Rocho the Clown. Sorry, my mind's going in a different, um, million different directions. Darren Heidemann says, need help with kelp? Wah, wah. And... Have I looked at the Chuck Jones special, The White Seal? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's burned into my brain. And Alex challenges me. Google it. Perhaps later. I shall. I still refuse. Let me live in a world without Rocha the Clown for just a little bit longer. <laughs> and, and then I'll let the world come a-tumbling down when I look that up. And Julio Draws says, any tips when it comes to deciding on the layout of the background? Oh, I am looking for tips myself as I am not terrific at it. So these things kind of have stalks. You know, what I want to do is just have the idea of the movement underwater. So it's almost like these pieces of kelp should be different keys in an, an animated motion. So you can see that it's, that the water is sort of making all of, all of this stuff wave around.
Yeah. I think that moves a little bit better. Let me knock that back. And knock this back even more. I'm so distracted by my own drawings. Go away, my own drawings. And Antler Dart says, good now, they took me off oxygen, my test came back negative! Yay! You didn't have the unspeakable Voldemort virus. I had the start of pneumonia, which mimicked the symptoms. Oh, the pneumonia is terrible too. But you're absolutely all clear. I hope that there's, there's no more pneumonia and... And you can just breathe easy, quite literally. Okay. So what I'm doing now, instead of those big, big shapes, I'm, you know, imagine envisioning this as like a big stalk with big leaves coming off of it. And I guess I should have them end in a point, but. I like this round shape better, and I think it still reads as underwater flora, which is what I'm going for. And trying to keep the movement flowing even with these other stalks. And when I take this uh, deeper into cleanup territory, I'm going to uh, layer this with some stuff in the background too, so it's going to have a bit of depth, but not too much. Not too much, just enough depth. And we've got some people on Periscope, awesome! Welcome Muhammad. And Darren said, like, tall grass in the wind? Yeah, absolutely. And Antler Dot <laughs> says, my husband loves you, call it the Vold Voldemort illness. <laughs> Well, I do know, I've seen enough YouTube videos um, where people say, like, if you say the name of this virus, you will get demonetized. So I'm not, I'm not, um, what is the word? Tempting fate. I'm not tempting algorithms. But I am very, very happy to know that it was, it was not the big V, and and that you're feeling better. As I know, uh, like a month ago, I was, I'd been sick for a month, and it wasn't anything serious, it was just like this persistent cold that would not leave me, and good lord, when, you, when you're just trying to get around and do the, the day, when you're just, when everything is just agony, when you even have just like a little headache and just don't get any rest and eh, I'm sorry. Here. I'm gonna put in a little Yeah. I'm just gonna keep emphasizing maybe I'll split this off right here. I'm gonna keep emphasizing this waviness because that makes me happy. You're so sweet. You're amazing. You. You're amazing. And, oh, scrolling back up. More talk of Rocho <laughs> the Clown. Alex Tucker says, Our local baseball team had Rocho as a mascot. That's all I'll say. <laughs> all right. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, well, I've caught up with this chat. I'm going to check the Facebook chat, which I'm a little behind on as well. And we've got more people have joined. Uh, my sister joined. And, oh, and Chris Undy joined. Hey, Chris. And we've got lots of, oh, and my sister-in-law joined. Hi, Stephanie. And, hi. 
And Steve Vitale joined. Oh, his old work colleague back at Turner. Hey, Steve. How are you doing? Yeah, and again, every time I come back to the Facebook chat, I have to repeat the spiel. I'm so sorry. I'm multi-streaming right now um, and trying to troubleshoot why Facebook refuses to multi-stream. And I clicked live uh, thinking that that would fix it, and it didn't. So I'm having to jump back and forth between... I should have just ended the thing, but I don't know, I just, I just let it ride. Just let it ride. I put it all on red. I don't know why I said that. I don't like gambling. It's very stressful. When Nate and I go to Vegas, we go to see the magic shows, so we are... It's actually a great town if you like magicians, and we love magic. We saw Penn and Teller and some other dudes that whose names I can't remember. But yeah, not so much the gambling. Someday we'll go and travel and do and see things again. That'll be nice. But what's weird is that when I was growing up, everyone made fun of clowns, like bringing it back to the clown thing. And it was kind of cool to be like, oh, clowns, man, they're just the worst. And nobody liked clowns. Uh, and then in recent years, I noticed that that sort of shifted to, ugh, magicians. Am I right? They're so lame. And I just don't understand. I love magic. Why wouldn't you love magic? It was like, because they think it's like real. Nobody thinks it's real. Come on. It's all about uh, illusions and having your. Oh, illusions. Arrested Development. Was it Arrested Development that ruined magic? Um, but it's just it, the way it illuminates your blind spots. It's, it's really fascinating. And most truly excellent magicians are also incredibly smart, smart people. I discovered this um, when I went to hear a talk by the amazing James Randi at uh, Dragon Con a few years ago. Oh my gosh, he's so, just such, like a crack the whip smart. And just a joy to listen to. How did I do this wrong? This isn't an underwater cactus, Joe. Get it together. Just start talking about magic and the whole thing falls apart. I shouldn't be spending so much time on the plants, but... You know, I had a previous page where I didn't really think it out in the sketch portion. Um, and so when I got around to, to the color, it just... I had to go back and redo it because it was just... Yeah, I think I did ultimately end up with something okay, but I'm going to try and put in invest a little bit more time up front and hopefully it'll pay off. Yeah. Compare that to that. I think that is a lot more interesting. So much so, I'm gonna say bye bye old kelp. Such last season's kelp. And who knows, by the time I take this into color, I might just rethink this some more. And... Yeah. Also, I want to figure out what I'm going to be doing with this interesting thing. I don't even know if I should have a fan. A sea fan in here, because I'm implying that there's a bit of depth to this water. Maybe peeking right here. Yeah, that might be fine. So I'm going to figure out a way to simplify this magnificent sea vegetation. So I'm just going to outline a general shape that I think is interesting. Not this. Yeah, it sort of has like a triangle and another
another part that comes out. Molly Mercer joined. This is, this is what I love about Facebook, since mostly my Facebook stuff is, um, uh, most of the connections I have on Facebook are people from my actual life. So it's really, really fun to sort of reconnect with people um, when I do my streams on Facebook. So hi. Hi, Miss Missouri. She was my favorite teacher in high school. Is, is my favorite teacher. She's, will forever remain my favorite teacher. There. So, I have that basic outline and now I'm just seeing like, if I can make these veins come through look interesting sort of thick at the bottom and then spreads out oh you know what this might be the kind of thing that I just paint and hope that it turns out okay yeah I'm, I'm gonna use a texture brush for this so I'm not gonna fuss too much about drawing it exactly right done yeah I'll remember that will remind me to do better you know what? I'm gonna save this ref because I like the color a whole lot. That's a really nice blue. Yeah, I originally had this color blue. But I think this more turquoisey blue is is the blue for me. Okay, let's see. What other things do I need to to figure out? The dolphins, ocean line, background sketch. I'll do one more, one more layer, just so I can move things around if I need to. Do this uh, pelican. I actually quite like the shapes on this pelican already, so I'm. I'm not going to do much to change him. Do pelicans have feathers like that? I almost don't want to look it up because I just like the way it looks. And I don't I don't want to know if how inaccurate it is. It's like I, just let me live in this fantasy world a, a bit longer. I don't want reality just yet. Give him a launch pad and a quack chin. There we go. hairstyle because he's a cool pelican he's not your grandma's pelican he's a cool pelican and we've got these dolphins over here much like the kind that you can see off the coast of Tybee Island or maybe I don't know I haven't looked up pictures of dolphins I'm just Again, fantasy world. Trying to make these shapes a little bit more clear and less mishy mish. Less mishy mashy.
Uh, let's check the restream. Oh, somebody said, oh, Ice Cream Hero says magicians are cool. Oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. And... <laughs> so everybody's talking about... Oh, Darren Heidemann left, but says, thank you for pronouncing my last name correctly. Well, I hope I did, did just now. <laughs> and Darren, if you're still around, thanks for hanging out. And I'm sorry I never get to say goodbye to people as they leave, because I am always behind in the chat. Woefully behind. And Ice Cream Hair says, My old boss was scared of clowns. It was Spirit, spirit Week and I wore my Homer Simpson mask. <laughs> Polymorphic Black Steve says, What if we combine both and get clown magicians? I remember, for one of my birthdays, I did have a clown magician. Her name was Rainbow the Clown. I think I was five? And she was so great. I loved her because she had a rabbit. She really, she had a real live rabbit. And I got to pet it because I was a birthday girl. It's a very happy memory. So yeah, clown magicians, I guess it depends. I think there's got to be another clown magician. Like a one that's been on... Maybe Fool, fool Us. Seems like a natural thing to do. These dolphins are going to have to be reduced in size quite a bit. Yeah, because they're... Get your dolphins out of the gutter. Come on. sort of receding into the distance and do another thing like treating this like it's a bunch of different keys. Make this more of a curve right here. Having one more dolphin. Like they've all just been flying through the waves. Nothing is more joyful than seeing dolphins dancing through the waves. So we have one more nice little move right there. And I 
had an eel in here, but the author of the book said the eel was too scary. But what if I make him like a really goofy looking eel? So I think we do need something here. Let's just move him back so he's sort of hidden in the kelp more. Yeah, we'll see what I think about that. And for fish, I probably should look up some different kinds of fish, but for now, let's just play with some fun shapes. Because there's so many flippin' kinds of fish in the sea. It may very well be that whatever I draw is going to be a real fish. Nah. I think it'll be easier if I just look up, like, Georgia fish. See what I can do with that. Ooh. Ooh, it's all that walking fish. Yuck. Fish of the South Atlantic, Southeast Atlantic coast. Okay. That was handy. Thanks, Google. Let's see, what fish should I draw? Oh, we got some more people. Uh... Oh, Alex Tucker had to go. If you're still here, bye bye. And ice cream here says, "Why not an octopus? Make something stretchy." Yeah, I like to draw. I'd like to draw an octopus. That's a good idea. Secret agent eel. <laughs> yeah, an octopus. Um. Panke says, Wacko didn't like cl clowns also. Yes, to a hilarious degree. That is true. Yeah, the problem with an octopus is that there's just... Like, a lot of the legs, it'll get lost in the kelp. I'm sure I could figure it out if I actually spent time on it, but I'm going to focus on the fish for now. Let's see. The white, the red snapper. The little tunny. Red grouper. Spanish mackerel, yellowtail snapper. white marlin and the blue marlin. What the heck is the difference between them? Size? It looks like the exact same drawing, just scaled down. The scamp? <laughs> the gray triggerfish? I'm sorry, that is it's funny to me. Sheep's head. Southern stingray. The ballyhoo? A ballyboo? Hogfish, redfish, fish. 
Alright, I'm just going to make a few selects. The black drum. The red snapper. And the dolphin. I'm guessing that's a dolphin fish. That's so weird. Why would you name a fish dolphin? The gray snapper. The gray trigger fish. Because it made me laugh. Okay. I think that's plenty. See if I can make these into some fun shapes. good together. Ooh, ooh. Let me check. I'm a little behind on the other chat. Oh, and Steffi says, Wyatt says hi, Aunt Joanna. Hi, Wyatt. And Steve... Vitaly says, uh, what am I working on? Yes, this is a book illustration. Actually, DTAG um, hooked me up with Koi Bowls a while, a while ago, and I did this book, which you can't see because you're on Facebook. I'm holding it up, and I feel stupid right now. But it was a book called the Little Behind the Little Red Door, and uh, it was done in collaboration with the state of Georgia, and yeah, they wanted a sequel, so I've been doing some illustrations. You can see a couple of the ones I've been working on. This was the problematic one that just, I couldn't get it to work. But I'm, I think it's in a good place right now. And this is one I have to finish tonight. Okay, save. I've got too many of these open. Save. Yes, save. Always save. Okay, and let's go back to these fish here. I'll probably end up, once I take these to ink and color, I'll probably do a copy and paste a few times. populate the undersea world. But for now, I just want to get a couple designs in. But, uh, oh! Mr. Papa Undy just joined. Hey, Papa Undy. 
and Joe Bruce joined. Welcome, Joe. Your name is Joe. My name is also Joe. Don't you know? ETA? Okay. Nate sounds like he could use a hand, so I am going to have to sign off and say thank you to everyone for joining. And Steve, I want to catch up sometime. Uh, thanks for joining everyone on Facebook. Uh, hopefully next time I'll be able to fix this so that... Um, Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, bloop doop boop doop checking the chat again. Yes, thanks again for joining. I'm going to do the support thing again. Shazam! T Public, if you like this kind of stuff and want to throw some coin at my head, I appreciate it, as always. So, thanks everyone for joining. And I... Oh! Yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be in a good place so that I can do a total request live stream soon. Uh, but I need to get hopping on this book because that, that deadline has not shifted. But thank you again, everyone, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>